The last day of the year is an important deadline to save money on your property taxes. Why and how do you do it? We'll talk about that coming up next. Hey, what's going on friends? We're almost at the end of the year and the last day of the year and June 30th are important deadlines for filing your homeowner's exemption to get a pretty serious break on your property taxes. So this applies to you if you bought a home in Hawaii in the last year and you have not filed your homeowner's exemption yet. So we're going to talk about that, let you know a little bit about it and how to do it and make sure you do it before the end of the year, because if you don't do it by the end of the year, it will not apply until the following year. And so there'll be a big lag where you, pro you could potentially be paying more property taxes than you need to. And so one, why is this important? By getting the homeowner's rate, your general property tax rate will go down significantly. So right now the regular residential rate, if it's not an owner occupied home is they have two, two categories. If it's below uh, $2 million, the rate is 1.11% of the assessed value. If it's above $2 million or the portion above $2 million gets assessed at 1.36% of assessed value. If you get the homeowner's rate, and I'll talk about how you get that rate and what you need to qualify for, your rate will be uh, 0.615. So it's about half of the residential rate and that can save you some significant money on your property taxes. But there are additional exemptions. So they will also exempt if you are under 60, they're going to exempt $40,000 from the assessed value. If you're between 60 and 69, they exempt $80,000 of the assessed value. And if you are above 70 years old, they exempt $100,000 of the assessed value. So that will be on top of the already lower rate that you'll be paying. And then in addition, they exempt 20% of the value of uh, the assessed value of the property. So you can save some significant money in general. It kind of cuts your property uh, tax bill in half. Of course, it depends on the value of your property and other things, but you definitely want to be getting the homeowner's exemption if you are an owner occupant and you live in your house. So important, there are basically four requirements to get the homeowner's exemption. And again, go through the paperwork. I can link to the application down below so you can look at it. Uh, this, you know, you have to go through this and make sure that you do qualify. You have to register with the county uh, real property tax division and get approved to get it. But the basic four requirements are one, you have to be an owner occupant of your home and you have to live in it for 200 plus days out of the year. So that's pretty straightforward. You have, it has to be your primary residence and you cannot be getting it on multiple properties, right? You can only be getting that homeowner's exemption on one property. The second one is you have to have closed on the home. So recorded with the Bureau of Conveyances in the preceding tax year, right? So sometime this year, you would have had to have closed to apply to get the homeowner's exemption for the following year. You also have to file the form. So obviously it is form, uh, RP 19-71. So that's the form, the application form that you fill out and you put all your information in and, and you verify that you're the homeowner and that's what needs to be approved by the county in order to get the homeowner's exemption. And the last one is, is you have to have filed a state of Hawaii income tax return within the last 12 months. There is a waiver process if for, uh, you have a good reason on why you're not doing that if you just moved here, if there's other circumstances. So you can look into that further and see if you qualify based on that. But super important, if you are an owner occupant and you've bought a home in the last 12 months, even if you've bought a home, but you've moved, like you, you are a Hawaii resident and you've moved from one home to another home, you don't automatically get that exemption. It doesn't automatically transfer. So you have to apply it a second time for that new home to make sure you're getting that homeowner exemption on your new home. So you can always go on the County of Hawaii Real Property Tax website. There's a good brochure that breaks it down, two pages. I can link to it below. Uh, you can always reach out to me, Dylan at Buy Big Island, if you have any questions. But remember, if you have, if you're now living in Hawaii and you're an owner occupant, make sure you apply for your homeowner exemption prior to December 31st, or there's going to be a large delay if you wait till January in order to do it because they bill every six months. So they'll only apply to the following six months. So it will, it'll, it'll, there's a big lag time for it to kick in. So you got to do it right away. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, uh, subscribe to the channel. And I always appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next week. Aloha.